What's going on, folks? I'm about to be showing you how your PCV valve operates, which it stands for your positive crankcase ventilation. This is actually a PCV valve that I actually opened up so you can see what's inside of it. Basically, the way that it works is you'll have a vacuum line that's on the top of it right here, pretty much, that's sucking on your PCV valve. And when it's sucking, what it's doing is it's pulling up this valve. I open it up so you can see what's inside of it. This is like a washer that's at the bottom of it right here. And right on top of that is this right here, which is actually what closes and opens your PCV valve. This right here has a spring on it. As you can see, it can come apart. There's a spring that's on top of this. That goes on top like that. And this pretty much goes is what's inside of your PCV valve. See, it goes in like this, and you'll have a washer below it. Also, this is what people are doing a lot of times when they're testing the PCV valve by shaking it to see if it's making a noise. What they're listening for is for this piece right here to be. Let me just go ahead and move this washer out the way. That's just the bottom. What they're listening for is this right here that is moving. See how it's on the spring and it's going up and down like that? Get a better angle. Yeah, see how it's on the spring and it's going up and down that way? That's what they're listening for to try to see if the PCV valve is operating correctly. But what can happen sometimes on these valves is either it can get stuck open to where it's stuck like this, where it's not this the bottom of it's called the seat pretty much so what's supposed to happen when there's no vacuum on it it's supposed to come back down and set in the seat like that pretty much where it's down at the bottom and when you put a vacuum on the top of your pcv valve it sucks it open like that to where now the gases that's in your crankcase can be sucked up into it and into your hose itself it been it then taking it where it's supposed to go at so the two things that happen a lot of time is it could be stuck open like this to where it's not closing correctly which is a problem or it can be stuck closed like this to where it's not opening no more so even though you have your vacuum on top of your pcv valve it's not opening correctly so therefore it's not sucking the gases up the way it's supposed to which can lead to multiple problems with the way your vehicle runs so this piece right here normally is what the problem is is this right here is either stuck open or it's stuck closed and as you can see if you look inside of your pcv valve pretty much it's nothing in it it's just a, a shell now this piece right here is actually what is the valve that opens and closes with the spring that's on it so like I said, so you'll have this inside of here. When you put your vacuum line on top of here, it sucks this up. And when that vacuum is released from that, or the vacuum is not quite as strong, it sets back down to the seat. It makes like a flush, con uh, a flush connection at the bottom pretty much to where it'll set down and there your PCV valve will be closed. I would say if you was to take yours out and you look at it, it looks really greasy and old, it's probably best just to go ahead and replace it and get you another one because these valves are pretty cheap. They run anywhere between, I would say, 3 and $8 pretty much for most vehicles. But if your PCV valve is bad, it can lead to a lot of different problems. Rough idling, even cause your vehicle to shut off. So once again, folks, I just want to kind of show you what was inside of a PCV valve, which is pretty much is a spring. It's the valve part right here. And then you have like a little washer that's at the actual bottom of it. And like I said before, this actually is what people are looking for, listening for when they're shaking it. A lot of times people will try to see if the PCV valve is actually well. Are actually working rather and they'll just be shaking it and all they're listening for is a sound like that when they're shaking it to see if this valve is actually moving inside of it like it's supposed to all right folks please check out the other videos and please subscribe thanks